Incredible. Who knew that Shay had that kind of potential? I have everything I need to complete our assignment here. One last job, Madam Skull. We need you to upload Shay's story. But not to Helix. I want some very specific people to see what we have found here. Given the nature of our current investigation, I have been looking at other assassins who, despite themselves, have helped the Templar cause. The first is Clay Kazmarek, who infiltrated Warren Vidic's Animus Project in Rome. He became the project's Subject 16. Kazmarek's rich ancestry helped Vidic to identify the Renaissance assassin Ezio Auditori as a person of interest. Driven mad by overexposure to the Animus, he committed suicide. However, Kazmarek may have unexpectedly become useful again. While in the Animus, Subject 16 came into contact with the first civilization entity known as Juno. Perhaps studying his bizarre Animus experiences can help us find a way to deal with the looming threat Juno promises. With Subject 16 out of the picture, Vidic needed a replacement. Desmond Miles, a runaway assassin, was captured in September 2012 and was used as Animus Subject 17 to further the search for an Apple of Eden. He managed to escape and uncovered an imminent threat to the planet, a solar flare similar to the one that wiped out the precursor race over 75,000 years ago. Desmond Miles also reactivated a first civilization temple in New York and used it to save the world, but it cost him his life. Abstergo recovered his body. In death, Desmond Miles became Sample 17, and his valuable genetic data was uploaded to the cloud servers in order to benefit all branches of Abstergo. Whether they live or die, we must continue to find ways to make the assassins work for us.
It is 426 on December 13, 2012. Debriefing of Sigma Team's Cairo operation. Debriefing conducted by Abstergo psychiatrist Tibor Hashek, level 7, and Director of Operations Leticia England, level 9. State your name and rank for the record. Juhani Otzelberg, service number OP114-8506-B, Master Templar. How would you classify the result of your Cairo mission, Master Berg? I would call it a complete success. The new Sigma team performed admirably. That's going a bit far, don't you think? The target William Miles was apprehended and the first civilization artifact was retrieved. Both were handed off to Warren Vidic without incident. May I ask how you would rate the mission? We're pleased with the results, but not with the methods with which you achieved them. I see. May I ask why? You went off mission. You were supposed to apprehend the target at the airport, not at the museum. When the target emerged from the plane, he was posing as a tour guide for a class of high school students on a field trip. A member of Sigma team informed us you aborted the mission then and there. I will not deny this, but tell me, who talked? I cannot reveal that. No matter, I will find out on my own. Back to business. The target was very smart, but also very sloppy. Explain. The target possessed advanced counter-surveillance techniques, but lacked the skill to implement them properly. The target was trained as an assassin since birth. I am aware. However, it has been many years since he was an active field agent. He must have been very desperate to go himself, as these days he is more of a talker. A puppet master. And what are you? A predator. A predator who defied orders because of the presence of some schoolgirls. I prefer to think of myself as one who can choose the most opportune time to strike. The last time I followed orders to the letter was in Florence. That did not end well for anyone. Was it that? Or did the students perhaps remind you of your daughter? I separate my work and personal life completely. Your daughter's recovery has been remarkable. I do hope her progress continues. Please, don't. I beg your pardon. I find your attempt to threaten my child vulgar and unnecessary. Explain. Abstergo's pharmaceuticals have given my child a chance at a life free from pain. And I have at last found what I believe to be my calling in life. And for that, we expect obedience. For that you have my loyalty. The involvement of the children in Egypt compromised the original mission. Nothing more. We already have one Master Templar that we can barely control. I don't like the idea of having two loose cannons out there. With all due respect to Master Cross, while he is gifted, he is mentally disturbed. We mean no disrespect, but after losing your team in Florence, we felt a need to keep a close eye on you. I achieved all mission objectives and achieved them without bloodshed. So my only question for you is, am I in command of Sigma Team or not? As you said, the results were impeccable. Then I believe this meeting to be at an end. I request permission to leave. Do you have something more important to do? I am going to find out who among my team talked to you. I will not tolerate that kind of insubordination. I think we can stop here. The briefing ended at 434. Transcript to be sent to Alan Rickin for security clearance.
It all comes down to this. It all comes down to this. Your communicator should work now. The Assassin Brotherhood still exists today, and they remain dedicated to their foolish cause. I am a Templar Knight. I protect the world from the Assassins. Today, you have helped me to fulfill this role. Please, restore the service. Otso Berg, the big star of the Anime training program. Show me what you've got, you arrogant prick. If you insist, Buster Cross. I believe that my training will soon be complete. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> What's so funny? I was wrong about you. You're not arrogant. You're just deeply fucking stupid! Oh! Your body, your mind, they're not yours anymore. You understand? All you have left are the voices. I don't suffer from your condition. My animus sessions were carefully- No, no, no! My voices are ghosts! Dead! 
so they can only ever say the same things over and over and over and over. But the ones in your head will never die. And they own you now. I am the Order's humble servant. You're not even a person anymore. You're a tool, a weapon, a plaything. We're done up here. And in the glorious New World Order, there won't be any room for broken toys like us! You have exceeded my every expectation. Use that terminal to upload Shay's story to the Assassin Network. What happened in Haiti happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead next to your damned manuscript. Get him out of here. I want them to know how weak they truly are. And I want everyone to see them suffer. So on the day they finally meet me, they will welcome the death I offer them. She was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. My plan is in motion. I have no further demand to place upon you. However, Shay's story is not complete. I would ask that you see it through to the end. I am super impressed, Upskull. You really came through for us. And yes, I am also a Templar. Have been for years. Sean Hastings was a university professor whose hobby was leaking Abstergo secrets. He was hours away from being killed by Abstergo when he was saved by Rebecca Crane, an assassin hacker. Since then, the pair have been inseparable, providing technical support for assassin field agents. Hastings and Crane infiltrated Abstergo Entertainment Montreal in late 2013, and were responsible for the theft of classified information. It is unclear if they planted the virus currently affecting the Helix servers, or if they merely left the door open for other hackers to exploit. Rebecca Crane's skills are not to be underestimated. She created the Animus 2.0, 
an assassin version of Warren Vidic's original machine. It appears that she was also largely responsible for establishing a new, more secure assassin network. It would seem Crane and Hastings have been promoted within the Brotherhood. There are rumors that they are now leading some kind of hacker collective known as the Initiates, and attempting to lure them to the assassin side. 